Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about human karyotype and I'm going to answer a question which is the smallest chromosome in human genome and the answer is not as obvious as you might think and uh, I hope you would get a lot of interesting information that you uh, didn't know before. So uh, as you see here we have human karyotype, we have 20 three pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of chromosomes that we call autosomes and two uh, chromosomes that we call sex chromosomes. So total number of different chromosomes is 24, not 23 as you might think, because uh, per number 23 we have here two different chromosomes. So if you would count, you would find that we have not 23 different chromosomes, but 24 different chromosomes, but 23 pairs of chromosomes. And um, how uh, any karyotype is organized, uh, it is organized in such way where chromosome number one would be biggest chromosome and then goes chromosome number two that is going to be second uh, in uh, length and then chromosome number three and so on and uh, of course the smallest one would be the last one but and of course because as you see sex chromosomes are set apart from the rest uh, human karyotype looks like this its organization. So we have two more chromosomes here. So now the question is which chromosome is the smallest, chromosome number 22 or Y chromosome? Because as you see sex chromosomes are set apart not uh, depending on their size but uh, because these two chromosomes define the sex. And uh, as you see Y chromosome is pretty small, so which one is smaller, chromosome number 22 or Y chromosome? And actually the smallest chromosome in human karyotype is chromosome 21. And how this happened? Uh, this happened because before uh, start of the human genome project, uh, genetists thought that the smallest chromosome is chromosome number 22 but after human genome started in 1990s and the first uh, chromosome that were sequenced were chromosome number 22 and scientists have found that uh, number of bases that make uh, this chromosome is 49 millions and uh, as for the chromosome number 21 when they sequence this chromosome, they have found that number of bases that make up this chromosome is 48 millions. So chromosome number 21 actually have to be in place of chromosome number 22. So these two chromosomes have to change their places. But um, such change was not made because uh, chromosome 21 is... Uh, very well known as uh, uh, such disease as trisonomy 21 or Down syndrome and scientists decided not to change names because uh, too much fast, too much changes have to be done to the textbooks so uh, once again uh, the first chromosome that uh, were uh, sequenced were chromosome 22 then chromosome 21 and it's turned out that chromosome 22 is not the smallest but uh, chromosome 21 is the smallest and as for the Y chromosome this chromosome uh, is made up by 59 million of bases and if you wonder about uh, chromosome number one that is the biggest. Uh, this chromosome is made by uh, 240 
nine million bases. But there is also some peculiarities about our uh, career type. For example, uh, Y chromosome, those it is not the smallest, it has smallest number of genes. There are different scientific methods how to predict how many genes on the chromosomes. For example, one would be uh, just to find how many of them would be expressed and uh, produce actual protein that uh, would take a part in some biological processes. And uh, the other uh, way would be bioinformatic method uh, when we can predict number of genes by looking at the sequence we can find uh, start codon, stop codon and uh, predict with using special software programs number of chromosomes. So different uh, methods give us different numbers between 86 and 200 genes. For the Y chromosome and uh, compare for example with chromosome 22 uh, uh, the same method predict 693 genes for this chromosome and for the chromosome 21 635 genes and um, for the chromosome uh, number one uh, prediction is uh, 4316 genes and as for the uh, X chromosome uh, it should be if we would depend uh, on its size, we should put it right after the number 7. So just uh, depending on its size, this chromosome could be chromosome number 8. And this chromosome has about 2000 genes. And what is interesting about this chromosome is that this is uh, one of the chromosomes where extra chromosome, X chromosome, would be tolerated by our organism because we have special mechanism to switch off any extra X chromosome except uh, one. So females, though they have uh, two X chromosomes, only one would be active and another one would form a bar body. And of course males would have only one X chromosome. So those females has two X chromosomes and males has only one X chromosome, but both males and females would have only one active X chromosome. And if, for example, male would have one extra X chromosome, uh, it would be turned off. So one extra uh, X chromosome, whether in males or females, wouldn't make such uh, harm as any other extra chromosome uh, that we call autosomes, for example. And uh, loss of Y chromosome also doesn't lead to very uh, severe uh, birth defects because females doesn't have a Y chromosome at all. And if we would see uh, only one X chromosome and uh, there would be loss of the Y chromosome or another X chromosome, still this would be phenotypically female. Such condition is called X or syndrome, uh, but still this would be tolerated by organism. And uh, organism also would tolerate uh, some extra chromosomes, but only uh, for those um, uh, chromosomes that is very small because very small chromosomes like chromosome 21 has fewer genes than uh, large ones. So uh, extra chromosome 21 for example would be easier tolerated as uh, for example extra chromosome number 10. Uh, this would lead to uh, stillbirth or self-abortion and such embryo wouldn't develop. So, uh, once again, X chromosome, size about uh, 153 million of bases. And let me also make uh, a column of number of genes. So, uh, chromosome 21, 
and has uh, 635 genes. And of course, you have to understand that uh, as uh, science develops, these numbers can change, um, and uh, we may find more genes. But uh, so far, we know about this number. As for the chromosome number 22, we have 695 genes, and as for the uh, chromosome Y, uh, as you remember, numbers uh, are different depending on the uh, scientific method that we use between 86 and 200, and as for the largest chromosome number one, number of chromosomes are 4316, and as for the uh, X chromosome, number of genes is about 2000. Once again, I want to emphasize that chromosome number 21 is the smallest, but uh, Y chromosome has the smallest number of genes. Actually, there are only two important genes here that defines uh, maleness and uh, testicles development. And this chromosome is the only one chromosome which absence is easily tolerated. Females doesn't have this chromosome and feels perfectly fine. And one of the important genes on this chromosome is SRY, sex determining region on the Y chromosome. If this gene would be transferred to the other autosome, such an organism would develop as a male, even in the absence of the Y chromosome. And actually such an experiment were made in our university, University of Hawaii in Manoa, uh, scientists uh, transferred uh, SRY gene to the autosome and they made a male without Y chromosome. And they have found that uh, the rest genes on the Y chromosome is not that important for human development. Those uh, only few of them are important for sex determination or male determination, maleness. And uh, the rest of the genes that can be found on the Y chromosome has uh, some um, homologous genes on the autosomes and uh, the product would be overexpressed if uh, SRY gene present uh, and uh, the whole Y chromosome is absent. And such experiments, of course, uh, help us to understand the role of uh, chromosomes and uh, genes in general. And this is all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Thumbs up if you like this video and see you in the next video. Goodbye.